Good afternoon anybody, Insignificant Fellow here, and welcome to a hot dog based video. Yeah. What I thought we'd do, and by we I mean me, I'd go around to all the supermarkets and find various brands of hot dog. Unfortunately, most supermarkets seem to stock the exact same hot dog, so this, this took quite some time. Most supermarkets, for some reason, either stock this brand, Ye Old Oak, or <coughs> this brand. Kingsford. And the other two contenders today are Tulip and Princes. And what we're going to do essentially, we're going to have a good old fashioned can opener session. We're going to take them out, we're going to examine them. But first, we're going to examine the contents and see who's got the lowest amount of pig in there. We'll start off with Yield Oak. Yield out for focus. Yield out hot dogs are a pretty good thing. Can be eaten hot or enjoyed cold straight from the can. No thanks. Oh, I can do these in the microwave. That means I don't have to spend seven years boiling them. But yeah, let's look at the more important things. Mechanically separated chicken, 50%. Water, pork meat, starch, chicken skin, beef, collagen, casings, salt, smoke flavoured spices, bay leaves, preservative E250, spice on extract, brine, water. So yeah. I don't know if it means there's literally 50% of that is literally just meat and the other 50% is eyelashes and science. Yeah, let's have a good old look in. Unfortunately, our family can open this. In fact, the oldies can open it on the face of the earth, so this could take some time. Well, no, we're straight in. Makes a pleasant surprise. We're straight in and we're getting brine all over the gaff. Oh dear. It's going to smell like the sea in here. Oh goody. And the lid sunk immediately, revealing that there's not exactly a lot of pork going on in there. Put that on the plate of safety. Yeah, if I just corral the stabby lid away, and this is our sausage. It's fucking tiny. <laughs> but that's what we'd expect. You can buy the bigger tin divisions of one of these, but they're more expensive and it will be more wasteful. So that's why I went with these ones, and most of these afterwards, uh, mainly the ones that are of sufficient quality, they'll be being used to uh, give the doggies tablets, I should imagine. This is test number one. How much of a bounce has it got? That's more than I'd like. Well, essentially what we're going to do, I'm going to cut it in half first, and we're going to examine the texture. I'd also have to no note that these, they, for some reason, these quite appear to be quite unnecessarily tough. There's our incision. Now let's have a look at what we've got inside. And we've got pink. With critical illustrations. Yep, it's very spongy in texture. It doesn't look... I can't separate it again. Piggy, to say the least. It's very TVP looking. We're going to try a little bit cold. Mm. Yeah. Not good sausage. Very powdery. Are these still a date? Just check it's not on the lid. No. Because I haven't had them for that long. Be careful not to drop the juice on me, so. Is it on the bottom? It is. No, 2022. A good three years before these die. Yeah. We're going to cook them as well because in most cases the uh, texture of these does change quite when they are um, cooked. Not something that I've noticed in the regular ones. Oh, ring pull, my favourite. We're going to try the tulip ones next. These look a lot better and tulip is a brand that sort of does tend to put a lot of actual meat in their things. Because yeah, straight away, straight off the bat, pork meat, 78%. Granted it's not amazing but you know. You're not really going to complain with 78% um, starch, salt, liver, serum, what is extra? Oh, we've got a few E numbers in here. We've got some whey powder, some spice, and some other information. The dog's just behind me randomly eating a biscuit. Stupid dog. But yeah, let's have a good old fashioned examination. Ah, my favourite wrinkle. Oh god, it's a, oh, it's a sturdy girl. Come on. Oh dear, hmm. 
You appear to be facing the consequences of high pork quality here. You may or may not be able to tell via the camera is that there's quite a uh, colour difference in these. That's quite... <laughs> that's quite human finger looking in it. Quite slimy. Yeah, let's move su subject two away. Go for a chop. Knife goes through fairly similar. Another examination moment. Cut into it a little bit. And yeah, there's lumps of fat in there and everything going on. Once again, the texture is very similar. The texture does change when cooked. Try them cold. Well, a bit of it. Yeah. Immediately, that one is better. It actually tastes like pork and not the wet dream of a nutcase in a science laboratory with access to animal products. But yeah. Let's try the, oh, I'm going out, I'm in the tin with that, the tin of that, I'm showing it to you. Next up is the Princesses one. There's six of them in here. Hot dogs, my is operated chicken, some water, oh, where, where is it? 56%, is that lower? Oh no, that's a rounded 50, so that one in green is still, unfortunately, losing. Water, pork rind, potato starch, stabilizers, some, uh, Hydrolyse, I believe that's how you say it. Some glucose, some antioxidants, some dextrose, some yeast, some spice, some garlic, some onion, and probably quite a lot of salt. 400 grams. These can be microwaved as well, or I could put them on the hob. I'm gonna have to put two on the hob and two in a pot. Why are people randomly talking outside my house? I swear to God, you can't have a moment. Bloody peace in this street. Family gathering in the driveway. I've had to leave, I have to leave the back door open for the dog. But yeah, let's have a look at the princess ones. And instantly there's, yeah, that, that just checking that definitely is them. A very strong smell of, what can only be described as a liquid confusion coming out of here. Quite a lot of bubbles too. These are all in date, believe it or not. I've actually started doing videos in order of when they are most likely to expire. That's why these are all being done now. Oh, and the, ta the can has in fact a bit. I'll uh, can open a hostage. Go away you, I'm preferring you. I just don't, I can't get over the colour of them. It doesn't quite seem right. I don't know if it really shows much. Oh, throwing it around on camera that the colour is compared to say these, I suppose. It's, that's sort of more normal, that's sort of weird. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, dive straight in. And we've got a mixture of the two colours. It's a little bit like that and a little bit like that. That's that what that's the thing. That must be that extra six percent of actual animal going on in here. Yep, it even looks like there's actually be um so that might actually be fifty six percent of decent bulk and not just eyelids and nostrils. But yeah, it's it it's can't really tell on camera, it actually looks piggy, there's a little there's a few lumps of fat there. Let's have a cross examination again of the specimen. Yep, same sort of compacted slime in a tube texture going on here. I think that may be a reoccurring theme. Let's try these ones. Hmm. Ooh, you know what? It's in between the two. Better than that one, not as good as that one. But there's actually a hint of spice to it, it's not just salt water. It's a bit, you know, it actually tastes like someone at the factory gave two fucks. And let's move on to our Final subject, it's the Kingsford brand hot dogs. There's eight in here. That's one other problem I've always found with tinned hot dogs. It seems that whoever makes these tins of hot dogs and whoever makes the rolls can't quite get together and think of a decent number because you get six rolls and that eight hot dogs or twelve rolls and six hot dogs and nine... So, uh, the ones I have, it's actually, I think there's nine there's nine hot dogs, and that's such a waste of bread when I actually probably have hot dogs. Because I have the um, the big ones in the glass jar, the Wilkin Wilkinson, uh, not Wilkinson. I think it's Wilkinson or something like that ones. Because they are, I believe, 89% pork. And one of the highest ones you can get apart from buying actual sausages. Sorry, we haven't looked at any of the ingredients at all. Um, Things food, Halifax. 
That's not the one we wanted. Here we go. Oh dear, and we're back down to no man's land. 50% mechanically separated chicken, water, pork, meat, eyelids, start chicken skin, beef collagen, salt, smoke fla smoke flavouring, spices, bay leaf, preservative E250, spice water and extract. Are these the same as these? What company made you? Well, no, it says they're produced in the EU, so I believe it's different. And the dog has rejoined us. Hello, can you smell hot dogs? Don't worry, you're in with a shot of getting some soon. He's your good boy. Who's your budget? Anyway, back on to um, science. I suppose you'd call it science if you try. Ooh, there's quite the release of gas from these then. That's never a good sign. Unless, of course, you are opening a can of gas, in which case it's the best sign you could look for. Yes, I know, there's hot dogs here. Oh, and there's brine on the cloth, which means the review cloth will have to go in the wash. Actually, no, it's not, oh. not wiped off a bit of tissue. So I thought you'd actually be prepared for videos. Yeah, there's a um, surprisingly clear amount of water in there. Yes, and the colour is exactly, it's exactly the same as a julie, but she's slightly disconcerting. I'm going to have to tip a bit of the water out, I know it's like, like the smartest thing to do, but I'm worried about making a mess. There we go. Let's have a gander. And yes, about the same scientifically separated pig-based product. And yeah, no real texture change, no lumps of fat, no, there's little bits of black. I suspect they're the, the spice they were... So keen to demonstrate. Hmm. Oh. Oh no, they may, they might they better they might be my least favourite ones. That's just salt. That's just salt and dust. Dusty salt. That's the name of my new soul album. But yeah. Now what I'm going to do is be um fair. <coughs> fair. I'm going to warm one of each up. And put them away from each other so I don't forget which one's which. And then we're going to put them in a bun. You know, they deserve a fair chance. So we'll be back in approximately. Well, oh god, god knows, let's give it 10 minutes, aren't we? And we're back in the room, and let's start off with the ye old oak ones. In these comically small finger buns. Let's give them a try now, they're hot. Ow. Just need to break my jaw off then. Eh? There's a definite improvement, but not enough of one. <laughs> mm. The texture is just dust, with the slightest hint that once upon a time it may have been near a pig. Hmm. I can't even chew it properly. Yeah, now I've got the tulip one. Now, funny story about the tulip one. The first one I tried exploded, so I spent a while cleaning the microwave. <laughs> After I did the other two though, just in case they fall out exploding, I didn't have to clean it twice. But let's try the tulip one. Let's look at the colour. That ain't normal. Wow. Not normal in Denmark. Mm. They actually taste a lot better when they're cooked. They gain a lot more flavour, like the saltiness comes through more, but it's not like mega salt here. Hmm. I quite like them ones. Let's try the Kingsford one now. Why is there a fly in here? How have you got in the house? There's no doors or windows open because it's windy. I'd say I can't have a moment's peace from the outside world. But yeah, Kingsford one. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that one's quite nice. But it's still really salty. 
There's a bit of spice to it. Come to see more when it's cooked. But it's still not the best texture in the world. Let's try the princess one. Or princesses. Because for some reason my brain every now and again ooh, there you go, doesn't know how to speak words. And says princesses is. Yes, let's try this one. Oh, oh no, oh fuck that. Oh, Jesus wept and called me Christopher Columbus. That's really awful. It's, the texture has completely changed to slime. Oh no. Oh no, I mean that. Ew. It can't get any worse than that one, I'm afraid. Wait a minute. What's that? Something worse, maybe? No. It can't be. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. It is this! American style hot dog kit. Renowned the world over for being fucking violent. And we're gonna do one, because it's about to expire. So, it needs doing. Let's just brush everyone to the side a little bit. Now, thankfully, this can be done on the microwave without exploding unnecessarily, but yeah. Let's have a look in. Let's adjust my camera. There we go. Should be tight enough now. Give us a bit of extra space. And let's have a good old fashioned. A good old fashioned. Damn you, sealable packaging. I like to think the people that put care here labels on things are in fact in league with the devil himself. The bloody sharp in this room. Oh, hang on. Tin out. Mm, nope, not sharp enough. Come on. Aha. It is sharp enough. Haha, -ha, we're in. Using all the tools available to an idiot like me. Oh, when it's done that thing. So it's ripped in half. No. Come on. No. <laughs> No. God damn it, the sausages are still imprisoned. Use the sharp bit on this. There we go. <laughs> Needs must want. Not to say, the bread roll. Uh, come in. That's. That better get soft when I cook it. Because that's going to be excessively displeasant. Displeasant? I made any word of unpleasant. Let's look at the sausages that probably never have been sausages. They're fairly thick, they're a lot bigger than these ones. There's something slightly unsettling about a vacuum sealed sausage. And the probably most costly part of this entire endeavour. You get some Heinz. It says Heinz all over this. Not that one there. So let's have a look at the back and horrify ourselves slightly. There we go. Two chicken slash pork sausages in white rolls packed with a sachet of, much, of mustard, mustard, <laughs> tomato ketchup. And there we have it, the crowning glory, sausage 46%. Oh, hang on, it, that's just the overall thing. Chicken 55%, chicken 15 pork 50 What? Oh, it's mecha mechanically reclaimed MCM chicken. MRM even, I can't read. So it's 50, 60, 75, 80. Possibly 80? That doesn't make any sense, does it? 50, 60, 75, 80. Yeah, 50, yeah. 85. There's a few E numbers. Oh, well, that's a nothing. There's a few E numbers going on in here. There's bovine collagen. And everything's extremely out of focus. So I'll just, I'll, so I'll just read it because it seems my camera's been a dick. Yeah. So perhaps this will be the highest quality one of the bunch. Who knows? Well, I know I'm going to have to clean one of these plates because, believe it or not, I've now no longer got any spare small plates. Instructions for use. Microwave only. Cut off end of pure sausage wrapper. Heat pork sausage for 15 seconds. Make lengthways cut in bun. Remove pork sausage and wrapper. Place it in bun and heat for 30 seconds until bread roll is soft. That sounds way too complicated. You can start off. You can start off. 
I'll be back in a minute. And back, just as promised, with an finished article. The bread indeed has gone softer, which is nice. It's unfortunately really, really hot. Because despite the fact that I've only 20 feet away, I completely forgot the instructions, so I just left it in for 30 seconds. Um, oh yeah, the bun has unfortunately got wet at the bottom, but that seems to happen to all bread products when you put them anywhere near a microwave. And I haven't put the mustard on because I don't like mustard. I did open the sachet and try it, but I'm uh, still not a fan. Definitely not a fan at all. I keep knocking this tripod thing. Oh. Do you know what? I was honestly expecting this to be awful. The bread's not amazing, I grant you that, but it's not the worst bread ever. The sausage is quite nice. It doesn't taste like powder, it tastes like actual meat. There's a fairly decent amount of salt and seasoning in there. That's actually not that bad. I was expecting it to be a hell of a lot worse. There were, uh, I found this and I remember I watched a video that uh, Stuart Ashens did about one and he absolutely hated it. I don't know if he had a bad one or if his had in fact expired, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, so yeah, I think if anything, it's the tulip plums that win, if you can get over the weird colour. Followed by this, followed by them, followed by the Kingsford ones, it's quite close between them two. And then the last place is the princess ones, which is so shit it's not even in the screen. It's there. But yeah, I've been a significant follow and I hope you enjoyed this video. And before I go, just want to tell everybody that I am in fact planning on getting back into doing gaming now that I do in fact have a gaming PC which can do gaming. So if you have any suggestions, suggestions of videos that you'd like to see me do, from uh, like maybe from stuff on Steam or anywhere where it's not going to cost me a million pounds, then feel free to comment down below, or in fact, you can tell me on my Instagram, because I did put a post up last night asking if any of you knew of any games that you might like to see me play. So yeah, I will see you later, guys.